Hello YouTube, Tacoma Boy here with another video regarding my generator enclosure shed. This is a follow-up video to the main video which is down below in the description if you care to look at that. I received a lot of emails regarding the exhaust setup I had with the generator and this is dedicated to that so if you're interested in that please stand by. So this is my generator and sun cast enclosure for it and here's a close-up of the exhaust. As you know if you've been searching for ways to do your own project there's several different ways to do the exhaust and I particularly like this way because it actually goes with my Furman generator and that is this uh, little adapter here which is pictured here on Amazon. You can also get it on AliExpress from China, which takes longer to get here, but it's about $10 cheaper. But the best thing about it is it fits right on the exhaust manifold and you don't have to take out the spark resistor at all. It just fits over the exhaust manifold of the generator and then this slides into a one and a half inch flexible pipe, which comes with it. You can get the whole thing for like $60 Canadian. So I have, that's what I have here, and then it's wrapped with a heat wrap, fire retardant heat wrap, and it goes into a, a two inch pipe um, from Home Depot, which gives a little bit of breathing room in between the two pipes here. And it protects against the, the plastic enclosure, as you know, would, would melt very easily. I have a piece of plywood here over a three inch hole, so there's lots of room in behind, and that's where I put the uh, the styrofoam to uh, help insulate it and secure the pipe so it runs about 60 degrees Fahrenheit in here when it's running and doesn't get any hotter uh, I attribute that to the heat wrap and of course the large fan that everyone puts in their in their uh, enclosures this is the outside of the shed and as you can see this is the two inch pipe that comes out and then inside of it is the one and a half inch flexible pipe and it makes it keep very cool and I have a piece of uh, aluminum screening over it just to keep all the, the bugs and the critters out in the summertime. So this is my setup and uh, it works for me if you have any questions please put them in the comments below and the complete video for the whole shed is also in the comments below in the description sorry. So if you care to look at that, please have a look.